Welcome everybody um, out to our essential oil class online. Tonight's topic is the essential oil basil. Basil is an amazing essential oil and we're going to talk about all the things you need to know about basil. So Jade's put, uh, worked hard and put this um, together and I'd like to introduce her. Here's Jade. She's hey. been <laughs> sharing essential oils with everybody um, for seven odd years and um, talked to thousands and thousands of people and probably taught thousands of classes as well. Um, we've been using essential oils in our house almost exclusively um, for that amount of time as well and have seen amazing things happen. Mm -hmm. So I'll go ahead and turn the time over to Jade. Yep, thank you. And we want to thank Ben because he's like the tech guy who <laughs> put all this together and is helping us deliver this message to you. Yep. And we're... What we'll be looking at, everybody, is at jadebalden.com slash basil. If you have any questions that aren't addressed here, or if you're listening to this in the future and or um, watching this um, and you have something to add, or if you have a question, something to uh, ask, go ahead and put, that, put it in the comments section at the, at the bottom of the post there. There's a place for you to put some comments there, and we'd, we'd love to start a conversation. And we... We look at those comments and mm -hmm. answer every single one. Yeah. And thank you beforehand for, mm -hmm. for doing that. Thank you for that. Um, I'm glad Ben brought this up because I did have a lady uh, this morning from the UK and she thanked me for some of the posts and she's reading and she said it's really helping her family. And I said, well, go ahead and, um, you know, put a comment on the bottom just to help people feel inspired because the more testimonials, the more confident people feel about using the oils for their family and mm -hmm. on themselves. I know so, a lot of people when they go to share essential oils with someone or they, they, they have an essential oil and they don't know what to use, um, stories um, um, really help them be able to explain or be able to apply the essential oil into mm -hmm. their life. So if you have those stories, you can share with us. Mm -hmm. Yep, excellent. So we'll just get started with basil. I'll ask a question. If you guys don't feel like talking, that's fine, okay? So I'll just ask, you know, does anyone have a story about basil or a question about basil that you want to share right off the bat? <laughs> Hi, Jay. Hi. Yeah. I uh, wish you, I don't really have a major story, but other than winning the bo a bottle of uh, basil, I think it's just still sitting in my box because I'm not quite mm -hmm. sure what to do with it. Except, uh -huh. you know, I use it for food, like to, you know, enhance the flavor of a dish. Yes, yes. Okay, so you take it out, Peaches, and we're going to talk about it today. It's going to be okay. Awesome. Yeah, we take it out and we'll talk. Okay. Okay, so basil, of course, when I first think of basil, um, I think of uh, pesto or the Vietnamese, you know, noodle soup. It's called pho, right? That's basil, you know, for me. Um, but it turns out that um, basil or basil, it does so much. Uh, so I listed it here. Uh, one of the main things is it helps you uh, energize the adrenals. It helps renew mental fatigue. Okay, relieve occasional ear discomfort, um, helps with nausea and cramping, um, and digestive and detoxifying, helps with muscles and muscle spasms and tightness. <laughs> There's so and much. And a lot, lot more, and we'll go through a lot of that. So all of these herbs are fantastic to use in food all the time so that it helps boost our immunity uh, and it just gives the whole body this beautiful all over benefit. Um, without you having to really, you know, worry, you just put them in your foods. So, um, yeah, it, besides uh, food, I actually use the basil a lot for, um, for energy. Um, and so we'll go through uh, the ten, top 10 tips here on the screen that you can see. And I'll read it out for the people that are listening to the podcast. Okay. Uh, but to think about using basil um, instead of your energy drinks, guys, <laughs> and see how it works. And you may uh, end up just giving up those energy drinks altogether, okay? 
and perhaps coffee too. So remember, you know, those drinks, um, actually it just robs from Peter and gives to Paul. So you're, you're one day um, in debt um, as far as your energy um, con consumption, right? Mm. Okay, so let's go to the body. We'll talk about how basil helps with the body. So the very first thing you need to remember is, uh, like the, most of the essential oils, uh, the basil is very powerful against environmental threats. So that's a, a broad way of saying, you know, it helps, you know, with the germs and things, okay? There's a lot of research about that. Um, I can't say too much <laughs> on calls like this, but just so you know, it's really powerful for that. So of course, add basil to any of your combinations of oils um, that you have. And we do oils on our children and you shake it up because sometimes it's just different pathways that bugs can go in, invaders can go into your body. So you wanna shake it up to make sure that you've got all your bases covered. Okay, and so basil is one of those oils that will go in and help do that. Okay, so that's immunity. All right. And you're doing that either internally or uh -huh. topically. And topically. Thanks for that, for that honey. Um, all right, so that's every day. Uh, for people that are on the call that don't know me, um, we've had um, essential oils for uh, about seven years and we've put the, the oils on our kids and we haven't um, needed to go to the doctors, not that I'm against doctors, Probably for that time. The because time. if they do get sick, um, it's very mild and we just you know, help boost their immunity with the oils and fix it up mm. really quickly. So now, A really common question that a lot of people have when they're first starting out is where should they put mm -hmm. the essential oils? Where would you put basil? Okay. Good idea. We just put basil on the bottom of our feet um, and you can use it as a muscle rub. So any of the herbal oils, that's what you do except for oregano okay, <laughs> and thyme. Oregano and thyme. Those are hot oils. So you but you can put cute. on the bottom of your feet and probably uh -huh. the bottom of your feet is the, bottom of the best feet is great. place for yeah. hot spicy yeah. essential oils because you don't have a lot of nerves uh -huh. there. but. And we, we say the bottom of the feet because that there's a lot of pores, um, you know, a lot of pores there and you can soak up the oils very quickly. Yeah, but what and I'm saying is that when you're muscle rubbing and you don't yeah. want to put those oils necessarily, sometimes you do. It depends on if you, you know how to dilute it with um, your uh, sensitivity, your level of sensitivity. Okie dokie. So that's basil for immunity. And yes, the, also the other benefit of putting it on the bottom of your foot is you have a little map of your, mm -hmm, the reflex your entire, points. entire yeah. body. You can put it on the reflex point. Like yeah. if you have like uh, some sort of, like for immunity boosting, some sort of bo uh, body part that mm -hmm. you want to boost your immunity, you know, yeah. like, um, you know a bandage, um, you can't quite put the oil in there. Um, put it up, find that spot on the bottom of your foot and put it there. Yeah, or if you have internal things, you know, organs yeah. and things. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Okay, doke. So we have um, occasional ear aches, guys. Um, basil and geranium, just uh, equal parts. So one drop of each or two drops of each. And you rub this on the bones behind the ears um, and down the eustachian tubes. And I, I learned that it's, it's just on your face here, right um, between, just under, on your cheeks, right down, just over the side of your nose. So Peaches, you're a nurse. Am I doing it right? <gasps> and and uh, Erin, new station tubes right here. It's very small. Okay, so right on your cheeks, cheek nodes basically closer to your nose. Okay, so that's what you do. Sorry, Peaches, were you gonna? Oh, Erin. <laughs> Hello, I'm sorry, you guys. I lost you guys for a second. <laughs> okay, we're just talking what about the you stationed at uh, Oh boy, hello, right right hello. Yeah, it's like breaking up, going in and out. Say uh, it again. That's okay. Um, Jay was just saying uh, where to put the basil for an earache. Yep, and then it's in the on the bones, and then um, they say to put it uh, on this the bone cheek. Right, the back of the bone where the ears the are, of course, tubes. and the eustachian tubes right here. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. So we can yeah. Google it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> the, the important thing is you're not dripping it into the ear. No. You're no. putting it um, just behind the ear yeah. or yeah. on the tubes um, mm -hmm. to the ear. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And if you don't have basil and geranium, you have other options too. So you can use basil and lavender or basil mm -hmm. and melaleuca. So yeah. those are other options and some, you know, we have people swearing by um, those combinations. So sometimes, it, you know, one combination will work better for you mm. than the other. Well, most people with a lot of essential oil experience always point to basil when it comes to those ear uh -huh. um, discomforts. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, so those are the options. Now, I know it's, I'm not going to get into the emotion yet, but I want to talk about the ear aches just for a moment, because I can't help myself. <laughs> um, earaches, especially Jade, for children. <laughs> I know, it's my soapbox. Um, especially for children, it's um, because sometimes they can't hear love. Okay, so if their parents tell them off a lot, um, these kids tend to have these problems. Or, um, you know, sometimes it's just because they've got some sort of a, a cold or flu but um ear eggs is a another thing um a sign that you know we want to hear love okay and it's it's their interpretation even though parents are very loving and very kind sometimes the kids interpret you may not believe it yeah not in that way they won't be seeing it mm -hmm. yeah. so i said that to one friend and she said oh boy because my nephew he, he gets ear eggs all the time jade and i said yeah let's do this oil and this oil and the other thing is you have to tell him that he's loved because you know, he can't hear love and she's like oh boy you know because her his parents tell him he's a naughty boy naughty boy all the time and she said oh my gosh he gets told that all the time and i thought oh there you go <laughs> okay so that's ear ace guys basil and love uh-huh <laughs> that's why geranium love <laughs> okay and we are going to move to adrenal fatigue. Unless anybody has any questions about earaches, because that, that is one that comes up a lot. Anybody yep. on the call tonight have any questions about earaches? Ben, okay. re, you know, reminded you to uh, not put it directly in the ears. Okay, because yeah, we've had stories about don't that. Don't do that. Okay, you don't need to. And of course, if you have people with sensitive skin, just dilute it too. Okay, yeah. we can also put it in a cotton swab and then just um, stick it just inside here. You know, the, so the cotton is sitting just in there and um, it should do the job just being on the cotton ball. Mm. Okay, because it's close enough. So that's earache, uh, your occasional earache. So we're moving on to adrenal fatigue. So on the screen, you can see uh, the recipe, but I'll read it out for people that are listening. Um, it's two drops of basil, two drops of rosemary, and you apply this behind the ears too, on the bones behind the ears. So almost like what you do with the earache. Uh, but, and then you rub your hands together to warm the oils and then inhale. Okay, so that's really, really good to just help with the adrenals. And... Um, it's great for long drives in the, in the car. Okay. Could you maybe explain to um, some people who are listening what adrenal fatigue is? Um, it's when you're super tired <laughs> and you just don't have that energy. So um, that's basically it. There's other, other um, things that you can do, but that's uh, one place to start. Okay. okay, so the adrenal glands, the, yeah. the one that uh, stimulates you and keeps you going. So if, you're, if you've been stimulated and stimulated and you've mm -hmm. just burnt out from mm -hmm. going for long hours, um, that, that would yeah. be the that, one to that's try. That's why I suggested perhaps people can do this instead of the energy drink and see how they do. Yeah. All right, this is for the ladies. Um, the occasional menstrual cramps. And this is very powerful, actually. Okay, so this is three drops of basil, three drops of clary sage, and um, you put that with fractionated coconut oil. You don't want to dilute it too much. You want to keep it kind of concentrated, okay? And you rub it on the lower abs, and you can do it every few hours as needed, all right? And because you're doing oils um, very close, uh, you know, like every few hours, you really need to drink a lot of water because you, you'll be detoxing. So, 
Okay, so that's one thing. It really helps with uh, the... Um, so for those of you clarity. ladies that um, live off of the clary calm, <laughs> mm -hmm. if you run out of that, there's, there's your go-to uh -huh. for what to do while you're waiting for your order. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jade, I have a question uh -huh. about the adrenal fatigue. Yeah. Um, the two drops you're saying you put it behind your ears. Can you just rub it like in your back and the kidney adrenal area, or is it just better? I'm trying to understand why it's behind the ears. You can do that too. Um, I I'm just sharing the notes that I took that I have of. Um, uh -huh. And Lawton, and you know, that's one thing you can do. Like I said, there's lots of other things you can rub it on your back and all over your okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, there's yeah, all right, then. Sometimes you don't know why certain things work, and that's probably one of those. Yeah. So, like Dr. Hill said, with those certain reflexes on the hands, and yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I was just wondering, I was like, why behind the ears? If, you know, sometimes I'm thinking the area of where the organ actually is, if we rub yeah. over yeah. that, it would, it would you know, that's right. Yeah, I know. And sometimes we can't get to the organs, um, yeah. but there's other pathways. This is why we go okay. to guys. They share their, their knowledge and experience with us. Yep. That makes sense. But you try this um, blend for the um, uh, cramps, guys, because uh, these oils are really good with um, uh, spasms, okay? Alrighty, so this is also for the ladies, but the ladies that want to increase their milk supply. So I've never had a problem with that. The nursing, no. <laughs> <laughs> the nursing, then you can rub basil and or fennel over the breasts um, three to four times a day, just avoiding the nipples. Um, so this here is from uh, Stephanie Fritz, and um, she is uh, uh, the midwife that um, writes the book. Um, here, right here, honey. Oh, sorry, yeah. yeah, Stephanie Fritz wrote the book, uh, Essential Oils for Pregnancy, Birth and Babies. And we have a link on our page there to the book that we're referencing. And that's awesome. We had a few people on the call last week who were, um, yeah, had, one of them was pregnant and she had a lot of questions uh -huh, and stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. Hey, yes, Erin, Aaron. you have a question. I wanted to make a comment about that. So the one girl, she was having some milk production issues since coming back to work. And I had her start taking basil and fennel. I started having her apply it topically to the breast like you're talking about. And then I also had her start taking it internally. So putting like two to three drops of each oil into a capsule and taking it twice a day. And it has increased her milk supply by two ounces every time she pumps. So eight times a day. So that's 16 ounces a day that she's getting more for her baby. So it definitely works. That is kind and of like, I'm sorry. That's fantastic. That's, awesome. that's a good story. And you measured it too. Yeah. Yes. And then also um, for the earaches, like you were talking about, for my daughter, Isabella, it has definitely worked the basil and the melaleuca. Whenever she's woken up in the middle of the night complaining about an earache, I've just put a drop of basil, a drop of melaleuca on a cotton ball, put it in her ear and had to go back to sleep. Within less than a minute, she's back to sleep. So it, it definitely works. These um, oils are very powerful. You don't need much. Oh, that's awesome. You know how it just sounds so easy. Thank you, So, Erin, waking up in the middle of the night, boom, boom, done, go back to sleep. <laughs> so easy. Yes. You're not measuring and administering drugs that you think, I don't know what to yeah. have in, in there. For, and it's in, go imagine the imagine the, what life was like before the oils. And yeah. this is what, you know, um, mothers would wake up and be very concerned. Do I give my my kids some drugs you know Tylenol or, or whatever um, you don't really need to get to that stage no. there's a place for drugs and everything but 90 percent of all the ailments can be addressed with um you know a bit of knowledge of essential oils mm -hmm. yeah that's awesome Thank thanks you, for Aaron. sharing Aaron. anyone else have um similar experiences you want to share Okay, we'll move on. 
That's yeah. okay. And if you feel like it, you can speak and you don't have to, if you don't feel like it. Um, and so, like I say, later on, if you want to comment or ask some questions, there's always a comment section. Mm -hmm. um, your occasional migraine headaches, <laughs> four drops of basil, and three drops of ylang ylang, three drops of marjoram, and six drops of fractionated coconut oil. We want to dilute it, but we don't want to dilute it too much. That's why it's just a couple of drops. Okay. Um, and you want to rub it, um, that blend, uh, on uh, the back of your neck on the muscles at the base of your neck also and the temples because sometimes it's just the poor um you know tension in your neck that causes that um as well so that's your other migraine um oil blend so i know there's a few people out there that do not like the past tense for some reason <laughs> the, the cilantro i think is what people don't like um so if you don't and, and they say that you know that past tense gives them headaches <laughs> um so if that's you um don't fret there's another blend without the cilantro in there so we've got basil ylang ylang marjoram and you might like this one better so, so Jade, I know you have another post on different types of headaches. Yeah. Is this uh, specific for a certain type of headache? Or? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just for these migraine headaches that, that ulcerate. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ulcerating migraine uh -huh. headaches. Because basil is um, really good for spasms. Okay. Yeah. And that's what meant cramps and things. And we, we'll go down to more crampy things. <laughs> there you go. And just know that there's, uh, there are different types of headaches. So if one thing doesn't work for you, um, there's a lot of other things to try. And actually Jade has a post about different types of headaches and, and stuff, so you can search for that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just funny. Sometimes we just have to know what our body is going through and, um, yeah, and help that. And sometimes knowing the root cause mm -hmm. um, you know, helps you find the solution. Yep. Okay, so bites. The hornet wasp. Does anybody have anything to add on the headache? Debbie? Okay. Well, I'm just cracking up because you're hanging on to that headache really, really tight then. Let's get rid of <laughs> let's get rid of it now. Move <laughs> <laughs> on. All right. Yeah, Debbie's on here to tease you, Ben. Okay. Right. What's that? You come here to tease him. <laughs> I love you, Ben. <laughs> she means it, yeah. Love receives. <laughs> Hornets, wasps, and bee stings, guys. Basil's great for that. Um, lavender, so two drops of basil, two drops of lavender, fractionate coconut oil, and you can mix it together and put it in a spritzer bottle and spritz it on the skin where you've been stung. <laughs> um, Sometimes, because my, my kids don't have very sensitive skin, so I just put it directly on. Um, but yeah, that's another option. At least you have an option. I don't really, really know of any other um, option that we would do before we had um, this, with the, uh, you know, when you're know. bitten or stung yeah. by, by something. Um, yeah. You know, there's not really a. Did you there's, remember? There's the, uh, the, you know, the hammer effect where you just try some painkillers. <laughs> For your kids, that's, never, no. that's not a good thing for the long run. Uh -uh. So, I saw, I remember so thank the first year that I got into oils, I was like an oil nut after a couple of months. And really I, crazy. <laughs> and I carried <laughs> oil in my handbag all the time. And we visited a friend and my daughter was in the garden because we, we had a barbecue. She tried to fix a broken tire with oils. Yeah, no, I did. <laughs> we were sitting there in the garden. She sat on this nice big rock in between, you know, the flowers and everything. But right underneath her was a hornet's nest. And so we we're sitting over here. She's over there playing with, in the garden. We didn't think much. And then here she is like just swap, swapping, you know, what do you call that action? Swapping. <laughs> Yeah. Squatting. Squatting, yeah. Squatting. 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 <laughs> Squatting. Uh, I, I thought it was just bees and I, I ran over because it just more and more came and I just thought, oh my gosh, my daughter's been attacked. And she's, you know, you can hear her go, oh, go away, go away to all these hornets. And I grabbed her and she was only four and grabbed her and pulled her away. And then she started crying because she was bitten. And so we went into the bathroom and I took her clothes off and she had like eight bites all over her. 
and I just whipped out the, the oil bags and I just doused her with that lavender, doused her with the basil and all these other oils. And, you know, she just stopped crying. And here's the owner of the house going, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. And he's like, what do I do? Do I call 911? What do I do? I call my wife. And, you know, he's like taking all the um, first aid kit out and just frantic because we don't know what to do. <laughs> and here I am, just I'm almost done. <laughs> and she stops crying and we cuddle her. And then she falls asleep and I think I just put way too much oil on but I freaked out. Um, <laughs> and then um, when she got up, it was still a little bit red, but it wasn't as raised as it was. And the next day at church, she was all telling all her friends and especially her school um, church teacher, the Sunday school teacher, she was all, I was stung seven times or eight times. And the, t the teacher was like, where? She goes, oh, the eye and here and here. And she couldn't even... You know, it wasn't there. It was just very light pinkish, you know, and it was amazing. I thought, oh, I'm so glad I saved my daughter's life. <laughs> yeah. So ever since then, I thought, oh, my goodness, I must carry it around with me. That's my emergency oil. Oh, dear. So that's a hornet, wasp, and bee stings, guys. Yep. So we move on to spider bites. <laughs> um, basil, three drops. Lemon, three drops. And you can spritz it directly on the area. And if you want to, you can use the Purify Blend. Okay, you know, if, if um, that's another option for you. Okay, because sometimes when you use um, uh, certain oils, it's, uh, you know, so if you use a blend for um, pregnant women, they, they may not like it, or people that have seizures, epileptic seizures. Okay. Anybody have any experiences with bites, stings? Yeah. Like Carson, Carson, I think she got mosquito bites, but they were, this is just yesterday. And one was really strange. Right at the bite, there was a red mark, but then it went, it made like a line across her arm. And it almost looked like a worm, like a head and then like a worm tail. It was really strange. And I noticed it when I was taking her to school in the morning. And I'm like, well, I start digging in my purse. What do I have? I found the, the hope oil and I thought, let's just put some oils on it. And that's, I just, I just remembered that when we were talking about bites and I went to go look at her arm right now and you can barely even see that it's there. So she's, it's like, use what you have, but yeah, yeah. But if you've got the specific stuff, that's great, but use what you have and just, I just used it and kind of like prayed to myself, Heavenly Father, please let this work for her. You know, you have the intention that it's going to work for her. And well, there we go. 24 hours later, then. And you don't know what bit sometimes. Yeah. yeah and that's the thing. I don't know what she got bit by. So. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. That's awesome. And I, I agree with her. Just use whatever oil you have because there's a lot of times where it might, you know, be a specific oil that's supposed to work for a certain thing and you don't have that oil just use what you have whatever God tells you to use just use it because I'm telling you it works and it might not be a reason that we can figure out in our own minds but God knows what works and I use lavender like Isabella just had three mosquito bites and it was irritating her she was at her dad's house and she's like mom I need an oil and I'm like, okay, well, just go put some lavender on it. And she's just very good at doing her things herself. She loves these oils. She loves putting it on other people. She loves sharing oils. So she just goes and does it herself. And she then didn't complain about it. And it's just awesome because it's less than a minute. No more complaining. No more whining. And it's gone. It's just awesome. Yep. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah, so... Um, these ladies are talking about oils that they carry around, guys. So you can actually buy uh, a little keychain um, with little uh, two mil vials in there. So we have, it's called eight vial keychain. Um, so you can carry your top, your most favorite oils in there. Uh, my keychain had babies, so I carry three keychains now. Because, <laughs> you know, three and then I'm thinking, I have more loves than the eight. And so I had to get another set and then another set. <laughs> But it's you carry it around because you never know when you need it. Okay, so that's that's how you carry the oils with you. 
know, I have a friend, she carries those, the, it's, it's sort of like, oh no, I have it here. Um, the, it's a small case, but you, you have all the, the mini samples in there. Okay, and she carries two of those around in her handbag. <laughs> Because she's like, what if I need an oil and I don't have it? So she has to have one of everything. <laughs> That's cute. Alrighty, so we're done with bites. So we'll go to shoulder warmer. Um, people that have, you know, another way of saying is frozen shoulders, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, so three drops of basil and three drops of wintergreen drops of peppermint and mix that with fractionated coconut oil so about eight drops of fractionated coconut oil and then you can apply it three to four times a day all right and that uh, of course if you're doing oils that often drink more water okay so i've never experienced this but i know people have and uh, so this is uh, one thing that you can try okay so basil wintergreen peppermint mix those together and rub it on your shoulders okay so moving on to liver liver support okay so that's four drops of basil four drops of myrrh four drops of cypress now when i say liver i want you to think of different liver um, problems that have labels okay um, and sometimes uh, it can. Oh, you can say the diseases. Oh, you know, some of the diseases are like hepatitis. Those are liver diseases. Okay, and so you want to support the liver, um, so it can heal from these diseases. Okay, um, and you do this as often as you can. You can put it on the reflex points, um, and on your hands and on your feet and do it um, as long as you need to, but at least do it twice a day, okay? All right, so that's liver. Any questions? Um, well, if your, uh, the whites of your eyes is kind of yellowish, um, you know, you might want to try this too, okay? Something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> liver. Okay, then it'll help clear and clean up things a bit. Start there and watch it very closely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drink lots of water. And also, you guys are, you know, helping with your physical body. Just be aware that your emotion uh, will be um, shifting and changing. You may open up to emotional, um, uh, I think, release as well. So um, just be open to that and aware of that. Sometimes we, we break down, we feel teary, we feel uncomfortable and people suppress it and then they, um, they freak out and they, they think, oh, what's wrong? I'm not going to do any of these oils. What's happening? Okay, and just keep, keep going because when you move through it, it's out and it's, it's gone. Okay? And you look back and you think, oh, what was that? Okay? All righty. So leg cramps and charley horses. <laughs> <laughs> Um, don't know why it's called Charlie Horses. Could be donkey. <laughs> Basically, leg cramps. Leg yeah. cramps. So you see that happens several times here. The the menstrual cramps and um, the you know muscle cramps. Okay. Uh, so we have four drops of basil, three drops of cypress, and three drops of rosemary, and three drops of lavender. And you can put that. Uh, hey, did you? Hmm? Basil, basil, lemongrass. Lem no, sorry, basil, cypress, rosemary, and lavender. Oh, sorry, I went down here. Okay. Just kidding. That's what I'm here erase, for. Erase. Keep her on track. <laughs> I'm like excited to move forward. <laughs> that didn't make sense. Okay, yeah. basil, lemongrass, and marjoram. Yeah. Basil, lemongrass, and marjoram on the leg cramps, everyone. <laughs> right, so you can gently blend that and massage it into. Um, the calves, okay, for the grass. So yeah. it sounds like um, basil is going to be a good essential oil for cramps. <laughs> yep, spasms, spasms, yep. cramping everywhere. Um, has anybody had experience of using this for cramps, leg cramps? 
Did he say crabs or cramps? Cramps. cramps. <laughs> muscle cramps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad cramps. I can make everybody giggle. <laughs> cramps. And everyone else is having a piece of each other. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, if you have cramps often, drink water with lemon and peppermint, just one drop of each. It'll help your body absorb the water better and um, help your body avoid having cramps so often. Okie dokie, we can move on to the pre-workout muscle tone. So I didn't know that they had such a thing, but it's good that I went through the notes and I found this uh, combined in a spray bottle, four drops of basil, the cypress, three drops of rosemary, and three drops of lavender. Because this is the basil, cypress, rosemary, lavender, and coconut oil. And then you shake up that bottle and then you spritz your muscles prior to exercising. So it minimizes soreness and um, it helps enhance your muscle. That's pretty so, cool. Yeah. You're gonna spray it on your boobies, <laughs> pecs. Muscles, yeah, make yep. them bigger. That's it. Cool. So you don't have to exercise anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> we can't <laughs> advertise that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's the body. I mean, there's plenty of things. Uh, if you look up some of the reference books, there's so many other things you can do with the oils. But um, you know, those are the the common things, guys. So now, so I'm thinking features. basil, rose, cypress, rosemary. Those are good for blood circulation. Uh -huh. It sounds like. Yes, that's right. So peaches, you've got your new basil there. You're gonna have a fun day with it, a fun week <laughs> playing with that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Will do. Do you like the smell? Yeah, the smell's not bad. I, I mean, it's not my favorite smell. It's it's not bad, but I'll. Uh, I'm going to put some on my shoulders now. <laughs> Get some on my shoulders. All right. Maybe by the end of uh, this call, you might like it. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Okay. So now well, let's go to the mind. Uh, basil is great for um, renewing. Okay. So our migraines and headaches are due to overthinking. And uh, when our brains are filled with uh, tasks and thoughts, that weigh us down, our heads might hurt. And so think of basil as um, like an oil that helps you open up that brain and dump things out and then you can sort through it instead of having it go through your head. So when we were talking about migraines up here, that uh, specifically those types of migraines, headaches. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get like overthinking um, migraine headaches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So emotionally, basil is the oil of renewal. So it releases the um, emotions of anxiousness, weariness, tiredness, and other negative habits um, that make you feel overwhelmed. Negative habits are um, just thinking negative thoughts. And I call it um, excusitis. <laughs> New word of the day, right? <laughs> Excusitis. Um, you know, because we find negative things about our situation and making that as an excuse to to feel down. Um, Excusitis is like, you know, um, you know, excuses about not being able to achieve. And basically the root of it is is fear. And of course, to counter fear, we have we should have faith um so you know we can have excuses like age too young or too old um you know knowledge experience no i don't have not enough knowledge i don't have enough experience i don't know stuff um distance um money time energy all of those uh, fall under excusitis and uh you know when we get in that mode it's it's not fun and our heads go round and round in circles and suddenly we feel overwhelmed um, there are people that have, say, a couple of things happening in the week. And, you know, when you think about all those things, in your mind, you sort of added those things up and you're doing it all at once, even though it's every other day there's something happening. Um, and then they just use that as a, a reason for their brains to get overwhelmed and stressed. 
when our brain is overwhelmed and stressed, it actually robs the rest of the body um, from getting enough energy. So of course your gut is going to freeze up a bit um, and not allow food and other things to flow and be digested. So then we have other problems like gut problems and you know we don't go to the bathroom as often as we should. So we want to clean out the brains and help it um, release the fatigue. So it's interesting that we have adrenal fatigue, but the root of it is the mental fatigue. Uh, okay, and so mental fatigue here, you, you, you can use three drops of basil, three drops of lemongrass, and smell that. Um, use a diffuser or apply it to your temples, the back of your neck, the bottom of your feet, just to help your brains, you know, let things out a little bit and let things just dump out instead of uh, holding it all in and try to sort it out in here. Okay, and the best way for me to, to help people is just to tell them to write it down. Sometimes we write it down, we look at it and we say, that's kind of silly. And um, then we find an alternative, a positive alternative to those thoughts. And, you know, suddenly things feel better. Okay. Um, and basil helps bring energy, rejuvenation and strength to those who've suffered from prolonged fatigue due to the stress of life's pressures. Um, I know I'm just going on and on, but... Um, we have false beliefs about life. And if you hear people say, life is hard, and oh, that's just life, things like that, we really need to change the way we think. And we can say, life is great. I'm allowed to be happy and joyful in life. Life is easy most of the time. And then, you know, you'll see that and you'll feel that and you're allowed your brains to dump things out, dump all the, you know, negative thoughts. So that's, Basil and the mind. Anybody want to comment or ask questions or share stories? I have a friend who diffuses um, basil and lemongrass and she swears it smells like Fruit Loops <laughs> <laughs> together. She's like, you have to try this. It does smell amazing, but I don't know. <laughs> but I love those two together. Oh, that's good. Very good. Um, it's, you know what, lemongrass is so amazing. Uh, just two occasions, actually, the one occasion happened today. Um, I, there was a net lady that was very negative and I tried to help her, but she was always, she was a happy negative. <laughs> you know, it sounds perky, but she's really complaining about everything. So I said, oh, do you like lemongrass? And she said, oh, yeah, I think so. And then I brought it out and had her smell it. And she's like, oh, that's yummy. Give me a bottle. <laughs> but after that, she was like perky and cheery. <laughs> oh, yes, it really worked. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So it's interesting to say, you know, you made that comment of the mental fatigue and the adrenal glands. Sometimes our stress, you know, and our worries are all made up, imagined. Mm. We have fears of things that may never ever come to pass. Not we, plain, is it? They're just imagined um, things uh, that we may never actually eventuate, the doom mm -hmm. and gloom. Um, and sometimes our body reacts to those mentally created images the same exact way that our body would act to actually being there. So it gets our body in, in all ready to fight or flight sort of thing. And, and sometimes that can make us, uh, that stimulates the adrenal glands. And mm -hmm. so there's a, there's a big connection between those yeah. two, mental so, fatigue and adrenal fatigue. Yeah, I agree. And then it leads me to the spirit side. Okay, so it gonna, it's going to help kickstart your spirit too. So um, like jumpstart everything again. Um, so for the spiritual healing, if you think about it, sometimes we allow life to um, just pile on life, you know, what people think is all these negative things. So all these um, events and um, troubles, they pile on and pile on. And then we, we list it in our minds and we say, oh, what a terrible, you know, experience, terrible month, terrible year that I've had. Um, so with Basil, it allows you to stop thinking that way and forget what's happened and let's move forward. Let's have a clean slate spiritually. Okay, so I'm not going to allow that to pull my spirit down. But what I really enjoy is to help people um, 
open up their minds and spiritually create new images. So now, you know, we've, we sat here and we poked at all of these negative things this year, this happened, this happened, and we keep poking at it and we keep sharing that story or we keep thinking about those things. It's not going to create something beautiful and something positive for our future. So we're done. And what um, Basil does is it says, you can stop that now. <laughs> we're going to go over here and spiritually create the world you want. And a lot of us haven't um, had the opportunity to sit down and say, well, I would really like th this in my life. I really like my life to look like this. I ask women all the time, well, what makes you happy? I don't know. I, I like helping people. And they've got more and more details. And how would you like to live? How would you like to spend your day? What's the ideal day? What's the ideal month? What's the ideal week? What does it look like? Um, and so the more details you can present to yourself, the more your brain is going to focus on this new uh, slate, new thing that you, you're going to draw on and you're going to make your own. And over here, what you've left behind is all the junk that you've been holding on to, the, the thoughts and things that you've just held on because you've never given yourself an opportunity to create all this. And once we allow ourselves to create all these beautiful new things, physically, our physical world will start coming together and creating that for real. Um, so Ben and I, we, we try to remind each other to do that. We've said, we'd like to live by the beach. We'd like to you know, work together and work from home, all these things. And it's taken a few years, but things have come together so that we're able to do this. And we, we feel like we're just starting still. We really have. Um, and you know, Ben just uh, stopped working as a lawyer just only a year ago. Um, and we've moved and we've traveled during the, that time so it's just been a very short time and you know that's what we want to do we just want to quit thinking about all the, the negatives and things that have happened so what okay allow yourself to create a new so this is what basil does so if you can't imagine something anew smell the basil and allow yourself to open up and start creating with a um, blank slate okay so that's what it does for you. It helps you to take a new look at life, new purpose, new direction, new journey, and allow you to rest and, you know, rest from all that heaviness and sorrows and feeling stuck because you've layered and layered and layered on all of these memories and experiences. And it brings you sorrow and it brings you tension. And the other thing too, with the uh, basil oil, it actually allows you to flow with your creative juices and um, you know, energetically, spiritually, you want to you feel free. Okay, so that's basil. Okay, so anyone with questions or comments about basil? I have I'll be using it a lot this next week. <laughs> <laughs> I have some questions. Yeah. Um, cooking. Also, uh, basil is one of the oils that we have in our. Um, you know, it's one of the spices we have in our kitchen. We have a lot of oils in our kitchen and stuff. And we, I know you've used it in cooking before. I wanted to ask everybody, um, what dishes have you made with um, basil essential oil or ideas that you've had? I've tried it in a pasta sauce. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. People yeah. make practice, I think, with that. Yeah. And you want to be very careful with essential oils in your cooking. Sometimes just one drop will put it over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some spicy curry and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chili. Or oh, kids survived it. <laughs> yeah. But mm -hmm. basil uh, is a good one. Um, because of, the, of its aromatic, its volatile qualities, I, I, I like to add it after it's been cooked um, so it's not our it doesn't evaporate that's how yeah. that's how we get the oil out of the plant we you know they push steam through the plant matter so if you yeah. add it after the fact um, yeah. uh, oils like this would also be good on salads mm -hmm. that was a, thing. a tossed salad yeah <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> basil's been on yeah. mind. so we had <laughs> We had pesto, it's a... And a, Vietnamese pho, too. Yeah. <laughs> We've had a lot of basil this week. Yes. Yeah. 
All right, any questions or comments about basil? Or basil. Mm -mm. So, is it basil or basil? <laughs> it's <possible>. basil. <laughs> basil. <laughs> it matters. No, all the it doesn't matter. No. It After doesn't. we do these, we sometimes I say I don't know how to say those words, okay. and I've told my mom. I'm like, okay, so this one we said wrong. This one we said right. <laughs> and then the other day, I was like, so Jason, is it basil or is it? basil or is and so he's like go to the google dictionary and it says how to say it so we're like okay so we're playing it and we're like wait now i'm hearing both we're like saying okay, so it's it's my Aussie. just blame it on that <laughs> i started saying it differently and i'm like that's not is that how i say it i don't even know after a while okay, so I basil. It now and i love it because some of the things that people say i'm like wow that sounds really cool <laughs> yeah. not too long ago um my my neck was hurting and um i like looked at my phone i looked in the book real quick and um i did i did i don't think we had we didn't have it yet and i knew that it was coming in my next order so i was like did i order it or am i ordering it so i hurry up and i looked and i said well forget it i can't wait so i just made a separate order just so i could get it because there was a blend and the rest, I mean, a blend worked well without it. But then when I got that and put it in there, it really, really helped. So, I mean, it, it helped but already, but um, I could just tell all the difference. And so it, it really, it made a difference. I don't know. I used it for like three days and then I was fine after. You feel renewed? <laughs> yeah. Well, now that you said it, I was like, man, I did have energy. So now I'm like, maybe I need a, this is a really busy week. And so is next week. Um, or last week and this week. So I was like, maybe I should just uh, do that so I have some extra energy to get through. <laughs> yeah, so everybody in the US are going through the graduation thing. Oh, <laughs> Yen is graduating from grade four to <laughs> grade five. Yeah, we're just making a joke. Um, you know, on the Incredibles, where the father complains, it's not graduation. He's moving from the third grade to the fourth grade. They keep on coming up with new ways to celebrate mediocrity. Mediocrity. <laughs> but we're going to attend anyways. <laughs> Long <way. Wow. laughs> All righty, guys. Um, we're going to end the recording if there's no more comments, and then we can have a little bit of a chat. Thank you all for your comments, thank and thank you. you for those of you. Long Stories are invaluable. Yeah, um, absolutely. Um, and those of you who are listening, thank you for um, this, listening to the podcast, the YouTube channel. If you do have anything that you'd like to add or you know contribute or questions you have, um, feel free to go down to that section at the bottom and and add some yep. comments. And you can there. print out the PDF too. Yep. To get fair. to get to the PDF, there's there's a, there's a link here, um, and it brings up the PDF. And you can just hit print there and pause your uncle. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording here. Um,